Hello students, welcome back to our class. Let's continue with the problems given in previous CBSC board examinations. See here the problem given is, um, figure ABCD is a trapezium of area 24.5 centimeters in it. AD is parallel to BC. So this AD is parallel to BC that was given in the problem. AD is parallel to BC. And then angle DAB is equal to 90 degrees. So this angle is equal to 90 degrees. It was already mentioned here. AD is equal to 10 centimeters. So this entire length is equal to 10 centimeters. This AD is equal to 10 centimeters. And BC is equal to 4 centimeters. So this BC equal to 4. If ABE is a quadrant of a circle, ABE is quadrant of a circle, find the area of the shaded region. It is pretty much clear that we need to understand one thing that area of the shaded region is actually a part of our trapezium. So area of the trapezium minus area of this quadrant of a circle will give your area of shaded region. For that area of the trapezium, it was already given area of the trapezium. But how to find area of this quadrant of a circle? Area of the quadrant is equal to, what do you mean by quadrant? Quarter part of a circle. Quarter part in the sense what? One fourth part of a circle. So one fourth part of area of a circle is equal to 1 by 4 into pi r square. Right? So pi r square, but what is the radius here? Radius is nothing but AB. We do not know what is AB. AB is the perpendicular distance between both the parallel lines in the problem given. So our primary task is to find out the value of AB. That is what is the perpendicular distance between both the parallel lines. Of course, it is a part of area of trapezium. Okay. So I am going to utilize that area of trapezium in order to find this AB. Okay. So given that area of trapezium is equal to area of trapezium equal to what is the formula for area of trapezium? half h times a plus b correct so half h times a plus b means area is equal to half into what is distance between these two parallel lines since these two are perpendicular so a b is the distance between both the parallel lines into a plus b a plus b means lengths of parallel sides so first parallel side is a d and the second parallel side is b c okay but the area he was given as 24.5. So 24.5 is equal to half into AB is going to be, of course, we do not know what is AB, times AD plus BC. AD is equal to 10, BC is equal to 4, 10 plus 4 is equal to 14. Got it? Now see the cancellation. 2 1s and 2 7s are 14. Therefore, AB is going to be transpose 7 this side. So it would be 24.5 divided by 7. So 7 3s are 21 and then 35, 7 5s are 35. Therefore, the value or the length of AB is going to be 3.5 centimeters. And moreover, that AB is equal to 3.5 is the radius of quadrant part of a circle. So directly I am going to find what is area of shaded region. Therefore, area of shaded region is going to be area of trapezium minus area of half one fourth part of circle. Okay. So, area of shaded region is equal to area of trapezium that was already given 24.5. So, 24.5 means 1 by 4 into pi is equal to 22 by 7 and radius is equal to AB here that AB is equal to 3.5. So 3.5 into 3.5 I am writing it as 35 by 10 into 35 by 10. Okay. So now the cancellation will be easier this way. Um, I can go with uh, 7, 7, 5s are 35, 5, 1s, 5, 2s are 10 and 2, 1s, 2, 11s are 22. So finally what I get here 24.5 minus the numerator is going to be 11 into 35. So 11 into 35 divided by what is the denominator 4 into 10 is equal to 40. So finally, I will get the value of this 
uh, by dividing this into you know five five eights or forty but I'm using the calculator to figure out the value of this directly so the value is going to be 11 into 35 11 into 35 is 385 divided by 40 which is equal to 9.625 so it is 24.5 minus 9.625 okay so minus 0.5 is equal to 14.875 so which is 14.875 centimeter square is the area of the trapezium so hope you understand how to find it out like area of the shaded region is equal to area of the entire trapezium minus area of quadrant part of a circle see here area of trapezium is equal to 24.5 it was given minus 1 by 4 pi r square 1 by 4 into pi is equal to 22 by 7 and radius is equal to 3.5 centimeters as it is a b so 35 by 10 because 3.5 is 35 by 10 into 35 by 10 see here i cancel 7 1 7 5 are 35 5 ones, 5 2 are 10 2 ones, 2 11 so finally i left with 11 into 35 in the numerator and the denominator 4 into 10 is equal to 40 so finally the answer is going to be 14.875 centimeter square and moving on to the next problem here the next problem given is in the figure a b c d is a rectangle a b c d is a rectangle and where a b is equal to 14 centimeters it was given and b c is equal to 7 centimeters taking d c as well as b c and a d as diameters of three semicircles are sh are drawn in the figure find the area of the shaded region i think it is pretty much easier to find the area of the shaded region and which part can be considered as area of the shaded region that's what you come to get one conclusion see here area of the shaded region means this semicircular part and this semicircular part as well as this part will also come under area of the shaded region so this entire portion will be area of the shaded region. So in order to find the area of the shaded region, what can be considered? So to find the area of the shaded region, I am directly writing area of the shaded region area of the shaded region is going to be see here, I am taking this part is equal to first semicircle and this part equal to semicircle so that areas of two semicircles area of two semicircles plus I just want to find this area what is this area this area is nothing but area of the entire rectangle minus area of the semicircle okay so area of rectangle minus area of one semicircle area of one semicircle then you will get the entire area of the shaded region area of two semicircles is nothing but area of a circle area of circle is equal to pi r square now here radius is equal to this entire bc is equal to the diameter because bc and ad both are same so since it is the diameter then what is the radius 7 divided by 2 so pi into 7 by 2 whole square this is the first part plus area of rectangle area of rectangle is equal to length into breadth length equal to 14 breadth equal to 7 so that 14 into 7 minus area of this semicircle so this semicircle diameter is equal to 14 so radius is equal to 7 centimeters since it is a semicircle so half pi r square half into 22 by 7 into radius is equal to half of 14 equal to 7 right so 7 times 7 so hope you understand this now when you simplify pi is equal to 22 by 7 into this is 7 square means 7 by 2 into 7 by 2 this is the first part and coming to the second part 14 7s are how much uh, 98 minus 1 7 and 1 7 gets cancelled 2 1s to 11s are 22 so here i am trying to i am directly getting the value 
11 into 7 is equal to 77. Okay. Again, this 7 and 7 gets cancelled. 2 ones, 2 11s are 22. It is 11 sevens are 77 divided by 2 plus 98 minus 77 is equal to, I think it is 21. Right. So 77 divided by 2 is equal to 2 threes are 6 and 2 eights are 16.5 plus 21. Finally, the result remains 8 plus 1 equal to 9 and 3 plus 2 equal to 5. 59.5 centimeters square is the area of the shaded region. So the total area of the shaded region is equal to 59.5 centimeters square. So this way we can answer the problem easily. Moving on to the next problem, see here. With what is this A, B, C of a triangle A, B, C as centers, arcs are drawn with the radius 6 centimeters each. If A, B equal to 20 centimeters, B, C equal to 48, C, A is equal to 52 centimeters, then find the area of the shaded region. See, in order to find the area of the shaded region, area of this entire triangle minus area of three arcs means area of these three sectors I would say then you will get area of the shaded region but observe here is this triangle right angled triangle let us have a look on this see um, what is the how can you decide whether it is uh, right angle triangle or not let us uh, see whether Pythagoras theorem is applicable or not so 20 square is equal to 400 and then um, I will take 48 square. So what is the value of 48 square? 48 into 48 is equal to 2304. 2304. Then finally this is 40723. Sorry, 2704. Okay, fine. What is 52 square? 52 square equal to 2704. Yes. So what does this mean? It means the triangle is a right angled triangle. Since it is the hypotenuse, this is what is the angle 90 degrees. So it is very easier uh, to find out the area of triangle now. So in order to find the area of triangle, I am taking those um, parts separately. This is first sector and this is second sector and this is third sector. Okay. So area of entire triangle minus area of these three uh, areas of sectors will give area of the shaded region. So I am going to find the value directly now. So in order to find the value, area of shaded region, area of shaded region is equal to area of triangle minus area of three sectors, area of three sectors so area of triangle is equal to half into base into corresponding height because this is already right angle triangle minus area of sector area of sector what is the formula for area of sector theta by 360 into pi r square but here theta is equal to a by 360 into pi r square plus b into 3 b by 360 into pi r square plus c by 360 into pi r square i am taking pi r square divided by 360 common remaining a plus b plus c hope you understand this because a by 360 into pi r square plus b by 360 into pi r square plus c by 360 into pi r square for that uh, from that i am taking out pi r square is common in all the three terms divided by 360 also common so that i am taking pi r square by 360 common remaining a plus b plus c but what is a plus b plus c they are the internal angles of triangle so angles of triangle sum is going to be 180 degrees so that when i substitute this is half into base of triangle could be the base 48 and the height of the triangle corresponding altitude is equal to 20 this is the first part minus of course the pi nowhere mentioned so it is 22 by 7 into radius radius is equal to how much pi r square uh, by 360 into a plus b plus c right 
uh, what is this pi r square by 360 into a plus b plus c was that information given here yes radius is equal to 6 centimeters so that it is 6 into 6 into a plus b plus c is equal to 180 degrees okay so here of course divided by 360 also there so 181s 182s are 360 2 1s 2 11s are 22 finally what do i get 2 1s 2 10s are 20 so here 4 48 into 10 is equal to 480 minus how much here 11 into 6 is equal to 66 into 6 66 multiplied by 6 divided by what is that divided by 7 so i am just trying trying to find out the approximate value of this the approximate value is going to be 480 minus 66 six are 36 6 3 6 6 are 36 plus 3 is equal to 39 divided by 7 so 396 divided by 7 is equal to 56.57 minus 480 so finally the result remains 423.4 centimeter square is the area of the shaded region see this problem is also pretty much easier but you need to understand in which way we are going to answer the problem right moving on to the next problem here the next problem is a b c d e f is a regular hexagon with vertices a b c d e and f as centers of the circles of same radius r are drawn Find the area of the shaded portion shown in the figure. Actually, the figure is missing here. This is what is the circle. And there is a hexagon. Hexagon in the sense what? There is a six-sided polygon. So, for example, there is a hexagon drawn like this. Okay. So, for example, this is a hexagon where the vertices are A, B, C, D, E, and f see here the shaded region is this i think you can see one problem in the textbook that area of the floral design have you remembered that problem there is a design problem in the textbook so this problem is also just similar to that this is what is the area that you need to find of course this is what is the center of the circle now let us get into the problem with the vertices as the centers of the circle of same radius are so the radius is equal to this is r and of course this is also r and everywhere that is the same radius find the area of the shaded portion shown in the figure how to find the area of the shaded portion in order to find the area of the shaded portion once you observe see this is radius this is radius this entire angle is going to be 360 degrees so 360 degrees divided into 6 equal parts then each angle in the sector is equal to 60 degrees if this angle is equal to 60 degrees and these two sides are equal then these two angles also equal right already we discussed about that so if those two angles also equal then this particular triangle is what kind of triangle it is an equilateral triangle so if it is equal triangle then what about the other triangles when you divide every single triangle out of all six triangles is an equilateral triangle so we come to one conclusion that the area of hexagon is equal to six times area of equilateral triangle so therefore we observed that area of hexagon area of hexagon inscribed in a circle hexagon in the sense it should be a regular hexagon okay it should be a regular hexagon inscribed in a circle is equal to six times area of equal triangle area of equal triangle is equal to root three by four times side square so but here side and radius both are same so that you can say it as six into root three by four into r square but what do you want here you need to find area of the shaded region so therefore area of the shaded region is going to be area of the shaded region is equal to area of the entire circle area of entire circle is equal to pi r square 
minus area of this hexagon that is 6 root 3 by 4 a square or r square right so if you simplify when you take one r square common so r square times pi minus 6 root 3 by 4 centimeter square because r units right so square units square units this is what is the area of the shaded region of course this is one of the most important problems also right and uh, uh, next problem is going to be find the area of the shaded region in the given figure see this problem also just similar to the previous ones we already discussed see there are totally three semicircles the top one is one semicircle the bottom are two semicircles right so in order to find the area of the shaded region area of the semicircle plus area of this one plus area of this one will give the area of the entire area of the shaded region for that i am going to write the parts here this is the first part and this is second part and this is third part okay first part semicircle radius is given 20 centimeters and that uh, 20 centimeters is from here to here and like uh, for the second semicircle see it was given till here it is 20 centimeters it means the down one the down this one uh, radius is going to be only 10 centimeters but this radius is going to be 7 centimeters 3 are 3 different semicircles if you observe from the figure so uh, I am going to answer the problem just by finding the areas of 3 individual semicircles so therefore area of the shaded region is equal to area of the shaded region area of the shaded region is equal to area of semicircles 1 plus 2 plus 3 so area of first semicircle radius is equal to radius of the first semicircle is going to be radius of the first semicircle is going to be 20 centimeters it was given and radius of the second semicircle is the diameter of the <coughs> see for the semicircle this is the diameter is equal to 20 centimeters so radius is going to be 10 centimeters only and after that radius this is for second circle and for third circle radius is going to be see it was mentioned that it is 7 centimeters got it so area of semicircle 1 2 3 basically what is area of semicircle half pi r square so half pi into r1 square plus r2 square plus r3 square this is what is the area of three semicircles which is equal to half into pi is 22 by 7 and the first semicircle radius is equal to 20 so that 20 square equal to 400 second semicircle r2 is equal to 10 so 10 square is equal to 100 and third semicircle is 7 7 square is equal to 49 right see here the cancellation is 2 1s and 2 11s so finally you have 11 divided by 7 times 400 and 100 500 549 so 549 can be cancelled or not let us have a think of that uh, divided by 7 again i am using the calculator to find out the value of this so here 549 549 divided by 7 is going to be 78.42 multiplied by 11 you will get 862.71 which is equal to 862.71 centimeter square is the total area of the shaded region so this way we can answer the problem easily and moving on to the next problem so the next problem here is uh, like of course we are done with all the problems in this concept and what are all the problems given in previous board examinations i think you enjoyed uh, and uh, you learned this concept of course according to the recent board examination pattern cbsc pattern of the board examinations from this chapter uh, you know maximum of five to six marks uh, you can expect from the board examination paper pattern but these problems are really interesting but you need to understand what is the information given in the problem and uh, how best that you can uh, produce your result only matters hope you understand enjoy the class thank you